What is up, guys? I'm back with another one. Looking at a disease called Williams Syndrome. I remember studying a little bit about this in uh, medical school classes, but it kind of left my head a little bit, other than me remembering some of the things that are easier to remember about the disease. But I have a pretty cool mnemonic that I came up with to help uh, remembering some of the details of the disease that would be a little harder to recognize on a test. So let's get right into this. We have here Williams Syndrome written, and then I have a mnemonic that helps me to keep everything in, uh, kind of um, on track and kind of everything organized in my head. So I'm going to use a little bit of the first aid mnemonic that's in the first aid book, which is fantastic, but that really only gets you um, certain parts of this disease. So in the, new, in the first aid book on page 64, you'll see that Williams Syndrome is at the bottom of the page. And they mention Will Ferrell in the movie Elf, which is fantastic to get that one of the primary starting features for this disease is going to be the elfin faces. So in other words, their face is going to have features that's going to resemble uh, an elf. So elfin faces. So that's really good to use. And th the reason that works is because Will, they're getting Will from Williams. And we know that Will Ferrell starred in the famous movie Elf. So that helps you to get elfin faces from Williams Syndrome to remember Will Ferrell. Now, not only does that get you elfin faces, but it also helps me to remember, remember that um, Will Ferrell in that movie, when he played Buddy the Elf, he was extremely friendly to everybody. And so another feature of this disease is that they are extremely friendly. They are extremely friendly to strangers. Like even people they don't know, you'll see that they're extremely happy and friendly to strangers. Um, they also have intellectual disability. Now this, I guess you could say that Buddy the Elf was a little bit out there in the movie Elf. So that would help you maybe to kind of uh, limit down intellectual disability that uh, Buddy the Elf could have had. All right. And then so so all of those things right there, those are three of the really important um features of this disease that you can get just from the mnemonic that first aid gave you. But I want to go a step further because if you look at the, the Williams syndrome right up in the first aid books, there's plenty of other symptoms that they can really go after. Actually, some of the symptoms that are more dangerous in the disease or have the potential to be dangerous. So now this comes to the rest of the mnemonic. Will Ferrell and Elf had a candy cane diet. If you remember, there was a certain scene in the movie where he talks about all of the food groups and that basically all of them were candy something whether it was candy cane or candy corn or whatever so I'm gonna use just candy cane here and the reason is because the cause of this disease is well first I'm gonna show you in the mnemonic how this works so if you just draw a candy cane there's a candy cane right that's about kinda of how it's shaped it looks like the number seven do you see how it would resemble kind of looks like number seven so this is a micro deletion First of all, it's congenital. It's a micro deletion of chromosome 7. And it just so happens to be this, the spot on chromosome 7 where the elastin gene is located. So maybe that could be why some of the um, elfin features are present because you're kind of altering some of the elastin. Okay, so this is a micro deletion of chromosome 7. We got that because Will Ferrell in the movie Elf was on a candy cane diet. So when you just kind of draw a candy cane, um, it looks like the number seven. So we remember micro deletion of chromosome seven, specifically the long arm, the long arm of chromosome seven. Okay, so that's the cause of this, uh, this syndrome. And then moving further, when you think of a candy cane, or when you see the word candy cane, there's two C's. So that gives us our last two primary um, symptoms of this disease. So one of the C's is going to stand for calcium. So that'll help you remember that uh, these patients have hypercalcemia. Hypercalcemia. The reason is because it has a, it's actually affecting the sensitivity to vitamin D in the body. So you're having an increased sensitivity. So this is because increase vitamin D sensitivity. Remember that vitamin D kind of towards the end of its pathway for its function is to increase the absorption of calcium in the GI tract. So if you have an increased sensitivity of vitamin D, you will go into a hypercalcemic state and they happen to have this. So calcium works here because the first C for candy. Then you move to cane, the last C is going to be cardiac anomalies or cardiac problems. Specifically two that they mentioned in the first aid book are both dealing with stenosis. 
One of them is aortic stenosis. And the last one is, I don't even know if it's necessarily, it, it will eventually lead to cardiac symptoms, but this is a renal artery stenosis. Renal artery stenosis. And you know that renal artery stenosis, if you have less blood flow, so if this is the renal artery going into one of your kidneys, if this was cut down, let's say, by atherosclerosis, you're having less blood flow to the kidney, so your body interprets that as, oh, we have low blood pressure, and it will increase renin. And remember, renin increases then um, angiotensin 1, then it goes angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, and then also, so that will raise blood pressure right there, and then also that will increase aldosterone levels, and that raises blood pressure via sodium reabsorption. So that was kind of a side note. But those are the two kind of uh, prominent uh, effects that you'll have from cardiac anomaly. So let's go back over everything. Wolf, Farrell, and Elf. This is straight from the first aid book, which is fantastic to remember a lot of the features. Elf and Faces, but it doesn't stop there. Remember that Wolf Farrell is extremely friendly to strangers, and he is so friendly and so bubbly and kind of doesn't fit in the real world that you could say that um, maybe he has some sort of a disability of some kind. So that helps me to remember intellectual disability. And then uh, had a candy cane diet. Remember the movie scene where he says that he all the food groups are revolving around candy. So I think one of them he said was candy canes. So when you just kind of happen to draw a candy cane, it looks like the number seven. So this is a this is due to a microdeletion of the long arm of chromosome seven. And this happens to be where the elastin gene is. Just something to keep in note. And then when you see now that we know that it's dealing with the candy cane diet, you have two C's. One of the C's is for calcium. So that's going to cause hypercalcemia. That's because of an increased vitamin D sensitivity. I said, how does that affect calcium? Because uh, vitamin D eventually kind of towards the end of its path goes on to increase um, calcium absorption in the GI tract. And then the last C is going to be for cardiac anomalies. And the two specific ones that are mentioned in first aid is aortic stenosis and renal artery stenosis. So maybe it would be kind of helpful to know that both of these are stenosis issues and that will help you kind of to remember what's going to happen in each of them. Okay, so I will catch you guys in another video. Bye guys.